Hey everyone, Al Castle again. You know, on Monday the 24th of April 2017, I actually had a heart surgery. To be exact, my, uh, to be specific, I had to get a pacemaker replaced. I had gone to the doctor on Thursday, the week before, and I essentially was told by my doctor that because of my situation, if my pacemaker were to go, pretty much I'm dead. I am dead. Unfortunately, that's a fact. I don't like it, but it is what it is. Now, what's going on is the one that I had, had the model had a defect. And there have been people that their battery literally drained within seconds. If mine were to drain, I would have been gone within seconds. I wouldn't have even been able to get 911. I would have been gone. What's the point? Simply this. This is the 27th of April, three days later, and I feel great. So great that I would probably, probably wake up the whole neighborhood if I really shout it the way I feel. I'm sure I would disturb the peace. I have that voice, I can project it. Trust me, I can make you hear me almost the whole block, maybe more, but I feel great. Now, the very next day on the 25th, I was allowed to drive, and I did. And on the 26th, yesterday, and then I had some house cleaning to do. I took it easy. <laughs> I took it, <coughs> excuse me, I took it easy, but I worked on cleaning certain areas of the house, getting rid of some stuff. We worked for six straight hours. What's the point? Why should you listen to this? The point is simply this. I'm here. And yes, I am a living miracle for a lot of reasons. But being that I am here, I'm not going easy on you ever again. For the rest of your life, I'm not going easy on me or you or anybody on the planet. You see, you're meant for greatness because like Les Brown says, you have greatness in you. You may be working at a fast food joint. You may be a gang member right now. You may be a former gang member. You may be doing some terribly rotten or illegal or sickening things, please stop. Because you are above that. Yeah, you. You may be forced to work at, I don't know, a big box store. Maybe you're 18, maybe you're 85. I want you to have your abundance. And I'm not one of these guys that does a 10 to 50 minute or more presentation. And at the end, I tell you how great things are. And you're over there nodding your head virtually and you, you're in love with what I'm saying, and next thing you know, oh, for 1990, whatever. I'm not gonna do that, I don't want your money. Yes, if you have to join certain things, you're gonna have to pay some money at some point. But I don't want your money, I want you to earn money. Make no mistake, I mean what I say. Yeah, I could easily be a scam, but I wouldn't be. You see, I'll share this with you. I'm tired of watching people suffer and not have what they need. Or I'm tired of hearing these words, I can't wait to pay day. If you can't wait to pay day, you're exchanging days of your life for money that's gonna usually be spent or circulated so quickly because of it, bills that the very next day you're saying, well, I'm broke, can't wait till the next pay day. Don't live like that. So you're probably thinking, well, okay, Al, you got my attention, you have it now, but what do you want me to do? What do I want you to do? Is I want you to recognize that you are more than capable. In fact, frankly, you wanna know how capable you are? You may be what unfortunately we categorize people in America and around the globe, but you may be an at-risk poor American poor young American. You may be an at-risk black American or an at-risk Asian or Hispanic or Muslim or Caucasian. Or you may be extremely poor. You may be hundreds of percent below the poverty line. You may have zero hope. You may have been repressed, obsessed, 
abused, raped, who knows? I don't care who you are on the face of this earth. I love you from a spiritual plane and existential. See, I really do love you. And I'm not gonna accept you giving up on yourself ever again. Why is it my business? Why? I don't wanna see gang members out there because they don't have the love. So I love you. I don't wanna see gang members out there because people are afraid of people of certain pigmentations. I love you. I don't want to see senior citizens being forced to work at a, a big box store, not because they want to, but because their pension doesn't give them enough. And even though they earned it, and maybe they're even next military, they're suffering. I don't want that. So I don't care if you're eight, 18 years old or the oldest person on earth. I want you to hear me now. I want you to wait and listen to what I'm saying. You can do better. And you know what? You deserve better. You see, you deserve better. I don't care about your nationality, your sexual orientation, your religion, your lack thereof. I don't care who you are, what you are, what you did. I still love you. Please stop doing the bad stuff. But right now, I need your full attention. So whatever you're doing, stop. Stop, drop the phone right now. Just put it down gently. Stop looking at it. That's right, you. Stop and do this. Listen up. Here's what I want you to do. This is the only thing I want you to do. Believe in yourself. Believe, that's the first thing I want you to do. I want you to even get your notebook pad or your digital pad or a real notebook. And you write as large as you can the largest font, I will believe in myself. And then scratch that out after you write it, and then just get rid of the will. And then you write down, I believe in myself. Then you're gonna like this video. You're gonna subscribe to my YouTube channel. Not only that, you're gonna comment and you're gonna share this. Not because I'm some boss man, no, 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 no. But because I want you to live the way that you meant to live. Now, after you say, I believe in myself, I want you to write down whatever your, your wildest fantasy is. Not, not something that's bad, something that's good. And then I want you to write it down and I want you to work every day at it. Even if it means as tired as you are after work, you have to work 20 minutes or so, or two hours. You work it, 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 and you work it some more. Then I want you to start reading books or watching videos, checking out motivational speakers and positive thinking. Yeah, you, yes, I know. Some of it may be hard on you. Some of it may be boring, I get it. But we gotta reprogram your brain like I reprogrammed, my, reprogrammed mine. You see, you've got to reprogram your brain. You, won't, you know why? Your employer ain't in love with you. Your job certainly isn't. Your teachers aren't. They might be nice people and they might actually care about you. Some of them may be in love with you. But guess what? It isn't gonna guarantee you financial freedom. It isn't gonna guarantee you anything. What you need, what you need, I will admit it, what you need, what you need to do right now, what you need to do right now is believe in yourself. Right now, you believe in yourself because you deserve it, okay? Now, I want you to just do this. Go online, or you're already online. Go to like Amazon or ClickBank, or maybe you wanna to go to um, eBay. Start your own business, start selling something, even if it's a pair of shoes. And then I want you to come in to one of my businesses. Yeah, there's two of them that's free. Come into mine or start your own. You start earning additional income. You're gonna to have to work. You're not gonna get anything free. No get rich quick schemes here. You get it, you earn it. You don't earn it, you don't get it. I'm sorry, but I take care of the business. I believe in you. 
I want you to believe in you. So write that down. I believe in myself. I believe in myself. If you believe in God, Mm. And God believes in you, mm. then why don't you believe in you? Because if you say you believe in God, then prove you believe in God. And if you don't prove it, then shut up. Because I love you. But if you don't tell the truth, then shut up. If you believe in God, believe in yourself. I know I ain't supposed to tell you to shut up, but I love you. So do me a favor, okay? A really big one. Thank you. Believe in yourself. I said it again. I don't care what happened to you. Believe in yourself. So what? You got fired. Believe in yourself. You had a business and it went bad. Believe in yourself. Do it again. Or try something that's easier. Or maybe not easier, but cheaper. Here's what you can do right now. Right now. Right now. You can look up some businesses or some affiliate net, uh, marketing. You can join us in our gaming or health and wellness. You can do something. And then... You take your regular job every day, do your regular job, and then you do your other job for a little bit, a little bit. That means putting down the text and all that stuff, do a little bit, and then learn and do some, some personal development, mentoring and life coaching. And guess what's gonna happen? Guess what's gonna happen? You're gonna make it. Yeah, you may fail sometimes, but if I can do what I did after a heart operation, if I can do this after a heart operation on Monday, really? You're going to tell me you can't? Really? You're actually going to tell me you can't? I promise you, if you come up with even one excuse, the truth is you already know it's an excuse. I love you. And I don't want you in a slave job or a servant's job. So work little by little until you earn a couple of dollars then you earn more then eventually you, you sustain yourself and you will be your own boss you will be the 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 boss so if you believe in God believe in yourself and if you don't believe in God believe in the universe but believe because you cannot do it until you do you have to believe it to achieve it I'm Albert Tricasso, and I'm reminding you that you, yeah you, and humanity and all forms of life really does matter. Now in the meantime, if you will believe in yourself, the universe is going to show you some surprisingly good stuff. <laughs>